Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from Asheshe in Ogun State. So this is the Friday we ran it, yesterday we ran it, today we're running it. So I went on an elevator ride, lift, I rode a lift, I took it up, I took it down. So you see and then I'll come back and tell you my experiences here. So I'm about to do something that people didn't think possible. So Mr. Patrick, could you push the button? Are you okay? Yeah, go ahead, push the button. So I'm about to ride the elevator and we're running on solar. So what do you think will happen? Would I plunge to my death? Hello YouTube, this is Dr. Sola. So what do you think? Would, while I'm riding the elevator, the power cuts off and then I plunge to my death? Or would it just be normal? So we're going to the ground floor, right? Yes. So we're in the elevator. The door is closing. And guess what? We're going down. Right in. Showing us our progress. One. Where is the advertising Suzu? Oh, it's Suzu Elevators. And guess what? We need it. Wow. Yeah, because air conditioning is on here. They've not connected. The, they've not connected the air conditioning upstairs. So when I pushed the button in the elevator, I was like, "Would it? Would the power go off while I'm riding? Would I plunge to my death?" And guess what? The system didn't blink. So let me show you. Let me explain to you what we've done here. So we have two separate systems. Each system is supposed to have six inverters. Right now, we're running only five inverters. The only other issue we have is that instead of having um, four batteries each, we have three. So we've ordered, um, we have ordered cables to allow us to run four batteries per inverter. So the system right now is missing. So this six are missing four, five, six, seven, eight, nine batteries. So nine times six. So we're missing close to the six kilowatt hours in storage on this side. And we're missing the same on this side. So first things first, so let's start. So here, we have six 15 kilowatt inverters, and each inverter has about 20 kilowatts in PV coming in, except that side. That side is short. We only have two strings, whereas here we have three strings. So let's take a look and see what we are doing. So right now, we are pulling 3,760 multiplied by five, five times 735, five times 315. So we are pulling about 19 kilowatts out of the five inverters right now. So let's go in and see what we're doing. So this is our master, uh, sorry. System, system status. Let me use my right hand, sorry. Give me a second, let me switch hands. My right hand is my stronger hand. System status. And then PV1, right now 2,773. Uh, PV2, 1,039. PV1 has two strings. Two strings, by the way. Our battery is practically in float because we're at 98%, that's what we set it for. And then our EPS, we show you what's coming, what's happening on each phase. So this is what our, these are what our phases are pulling. 1264, 1476, and 1020. They were more balanced yesterday. I don't know what changed today. Let me see which other data. That's it. The meter CT should show zero because there's no CT connected at the moment. And we don't have any power coming in or going out. So, um... Parallel status. Let's see parallel status. Let's touch it. And how many inverters does it show you? There are five inverters. Slave one. So I could see what's happening on each from here. So slave one. P1 is in 2551. Let's go to EPS status on slave one. So this is from the master now, right? So from the master, I could see what's going on on each inverter that's connected. So it's not showing us what's going on on the EPS power on slave one. That's interesting. So here is, let's, let's go back to power status. It shows all, there are five. Okay, sorry, let me go to slave. Let's go back up. Let's see what it says. I'm learning this with you. I've never done this before. 
Wow, look at that. PV1, 13.9 kilowatts, 29 amps. That's what all five are showing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. PV2, 15 amps, 49.25. I didn't know I could see this here. Wow, I'm excited. Battery. Uh, default, so I guess it's showing 931 watts negative, so that's combined. Oh, sorry, it went too far. So let me see if it shows us total EPS. No, it doesn't. So it shows it individually, it doesn't show us everything. So let's see what slave 1 EPS says. doesn't show so it doesn't show EPS readings from the individual inverters but it shows you your PV total and it shows you what your master it shows you your PV total and it shows you your battery total so we've gone up now to 4,000 so we're now 20 kilowatts I guess the ACs are kicking in gradually as the place gets warm this room is hot so we have one this master slave and it's not, for whatever reason, it doesn't necessarily do it in numeric order, it does it in order it comes on. So this is a second inverter, it's coming up as slave 4 and it doesn't give us the option of actually doing anything. The inverter assigns this. So if you know something different, let me know. And then here, shows up as slave 2, right? We just went from slave 4 to slave 2. Here is slave 1, right? Makes no sense, but that's how it does the assignment. So this inverter now is powering just this room for now. We had an issue with it where it's an European off-grid model, so we cannot use it. We're, we're going to get a replacement, and then this one refused to communicate. I don't know if it's a hardware fault. It will not communicate with the rest. So we have four batteries missing from here, four batteries missing from here, and then one battery each. Yesterday we ran it, it was very heavy clouds and it rained all day. And the, this side, this is system one. System one has the most loads. We saw up to 35 kilowatts. System one discharged all the way down to 70%. By the end of the day, yeah. system one was back up to, system one was back up to one, sorry, 97, 98%. Okay, I was thinking battery lights were not flashing on this one, it's charging too. So here's an EPS parallel box. Uh, this has two contactors. Uh, one allows uh, the inverter to send power to the building, which is this side. And this allows the grid to send power to the building. It doesn't charge. These are connections from all our inverters. And then this is connection from our load. This is back into the building. And then here is for us to bring from the generator or the grid into the system to power the building. It doesn't charge. Uh, that we're going to do something different. So before I bore you to tears, if you're not subscribed, please click subscribe. Uh, today we're going to run from 10.15 all the way to 5.15. We'll turn off tomorrow. We'll try and run at night and see how good the resources we have and how long it will last us. So this is system one and this is system two. Bam, is sliding up. And uh, system two, 47, 40, 47, 38. So this, for whatever reason, today is pulling more. So the intention now is to double the load. So today they're going to add additional ACs. They're going to add additional loads, and hopefully that will get us um, to about eight to nine kilowatts per inverter. So we're hoping to do somewhere between 45 and 50 kilowatts on each system. So for a total of 100. And I think that should be a comfortable place to be. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. If you had to subscribe, please click the subscribe button once again. This is Dr. Sola coming to you from Asheshe in the state.